Yep, look at that. We had a airline go bad. Let's see. Let's see if I can see where it went bad. Oh, right here. Right there. You see? There you go. Crack. So, was doing a brake test. Brake down test, I guess. I, I don't know. Hitting the damn brake pedal. See and make sure everything was good. And, uh, did a lube, did a lube job, which is a lot easier to do a lube job on this just because I don't have to lube up the brakes, right? Because there's no slack adjusters because it's, um, disc brakes. But this does have, check that out, it's not sealed U joints. Um, which the Cascadias come with sealed U-joints. So I was expecting these to be sealed. Um, so the front brake chamber was the one that's bad. Closed up the hood. I ain't going to open it. But these damn mirrors, man. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I'm thinking about taking the damn things off because I don't use them. I don't like them. Um, or I can roll around with them like that i don't know the problem is i gotta find out what color this is and then match the color scheme but i'm wondering if the aerodynamics would be better with them like that or like that i don't know but i absolutely hate these things <clears throat> completely worthless right Huh? How does that look? What do you think? Let me know what you think. I mean, again, I don't like the damn things. I don't use them. Um, they're completely worthless to me. Because, you know, I'm an old school badass EMF'er. So, anywho. We're going to work on the Subi. I got to uh, get that figured out. Uh did inspection on the reefer there fix the uh here i'll go i'll go show you right still got that for sale anybody want it good deal i'm gonna stick that on top of the reefer here and get 13 miles to the gallon all right now that's that's a project But I'll show you my, I'll show you the reefy, right? So I doubled, doubled it. So now we got two there. Cause I don't know, that for some reason that one just does not like to stay there. So hopefully that other one will put pressure. Oh, uh, and this is my hole that I fixed. Not too bad, huh? It's got hammer marks just to kind of make it uh, because this is completely, you can see, right? Uh, the piece that I had wasn't long enough, but it was wide enough. Like, I actually cut this in half. But the back side here has like really super sticky stuff. And then I just stuck in these rivets here just to uh, keep it against the wall. Um, so yeah, there's a big gouge right here. And it just kept getting worse and worse and worse because it like accordioned out. So anytime they put a pallet, scoot a pallet along here, um, it would just uh, grab the side and just rip it even more. So, but you can see there's plenty of space if you slide stuff along here. And then if there's product here, it should do okay. But that was like that ever since I bought the trailer and always bugged the shit out of me. Oh, uh, so. Anyways, this is coming along good. Everything looks good. A little tear there. I think, yeah, I fixed that. That was the I-beam there. I just stuck another uh, rivet there. So these little plastic rivets, these little plastic rivets here, uh, awesome, man. You can get them at Home Depot. Um, I don't know if there's any other places. I'm sure Lowe's and 
Menards and all the uh, all the different home hardware stores sell them. Um, but yeah, anything and everything inside of a reefer. So far, I have fixed. Um, yeah, topped off some, needed about a quart of oil. I don't know where the oil went. I don't know if it's blowing out, but it's gonna be changed next month. So service intervals that I do on this is every six months, no matter what. Um, and I put the, uh, I put the hours and the date on there so next month it will need to be changed yeah somebody please buy this like i don't know i got it for sale locally um it just hurts right like it hurts me seeing it sit here like i want to take it out and drive the damn thing um it, it's just hard it's hard to see it sitting here going to waste and that's the reason why I didn't want to keep it because I know it's just going to sit here. But anyways, I'm going to start on the Subi. I don't know how much of that I'm going to show. Probably not much because, you know, it's trucking, not car repairs. Uh, but this hub, I don't, I don't know. I guess they call it the hub uh, is le not leaking, but it's grinding. So which is very common in the Subarus. It uh, should be fairly easy to change out because this was a California car. So it didn't sit in the snow and the, uh, and the whatever, salt and all the crap that usually these cars go through. And from what I was researching online, uh, it should be fairly easy to take apart since it doesn't, since it hasn't been in any weather, basically. So, all right. We'll let you know if anything happens.